Say when. Hello, everybody. We're big, we're bad, we're back at 11 a.m. PST on a Thursday. On Thursday. How are you all? Who do we have? We have Duck. Doug, sorry. TJ. Hey, TJ. Hey, Addy. Hey, Roshan. Hey, Jens. Hey, Mark. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Milton. Hey, Doug. Hey, CJ. Mark with a C. I'm going to say that because I know there's going to be sort of a couple of marks. David. Do, do, do. Uh, Peter. Sir Egbert. Steve Took. How are you? Christian. Wow. How is everybody? Jesse. Jesse. Um, Philip. The other David. Brett. Hello, Road Rager. When? Tom C. Um, Patrick Larson. Hey, Patrick. Wow. How is everybody? Are you all good? It's about 900 degrees outside as usual. It's actually quite a hot day. I did wear the shot. I, I should have, uh, I should have driven with uh with you know uh but i was on a phone call so it was all rather uh rather a lovely drive i didn't go on mar holland because that's normally my drive and that's quite quite scary to be driving and being on a phone call because you get easily distracted so that was my drive here how is everybody here robert how are you eric with a k We've got eric with a c over there jesse the other jesse how are you all Please, uh, thank you, yeah, great. Give, me, give us a shout out here. Please hit the like button, because if you hit that like button, it lets <coughs> YouTube know that you're here. This is all rather wonderful. John Wells. Hey, Brett. Hey, John Lance. Uh, Jim. Hey, Jim. So we're going to carry on. Jeff, how are you? We're going to carry on with this song. So if you want to click over young... Eric, that would be fantastic. I want to see where we left it off. I have not listened at all to this mix since we worked on it last. And we're still on the headphones. Now, oh, they have already put it out there. So if you look below, there is actually a link where you can um, enter to win these headphones. That's rather wonderful of Austrian Audio for giving us the headphones to give away. Also, um, the Academy, and there's so many Academy members here, Hey, Frozen Colors. Hey, Name. Um, Nameless One. Hey, John. Hey, um, Electric Out Band. Outfit Band. Hey, Electric Outfit Band. Hey, um, Why So Cold. Adam. Hey, Adam. Hey, Thomas. Thomas Lynn. How are you? Paul St. Ebbs. Sup. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Happy anniversary. Yes, that was yesterday. And uh, hey, Michael. Hey, Bobby. Um, hey, CJ, how are you all? You can definitely put the AC on. I think, I think we can survive with the AC on on this. It is really warm in here, especially when I have a light pointing at me. Come to the light. All right. So I haven't listened since then. So now I'm going to listen, see where we left off.
Okay, that was interesting. So what that is, is that's the early stages of a mix. As you can tell, almost nothing was done to it. It was more of a balancing, a panning. I mean, on the kick drum here, for instance, we have one stock comes free with Pro Tools 1176 Bomb Factory. And then we have absolutely nothing else. So that is the dry drum sounds with a limited amount of snizzle going on. Um, got a tiny bit of, you know, um, got a tiny bit of, of sample put in there. And that's about it. That is the drum sound. There's no EQ, no compression applied to anything except for that. So, for instance, if I now create a full drum, let's, let's add those symbols in, which have not been played yet. So let's now create a full, so we're calling this all drums. So now we have all of the drums together here. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, you know, that's pretty pretty darn cool. Um, let's have a listen here. It's not like super aggressive in the kick and snare. It's, it's a fairly, even considering there is um, a little bit of kick and snare sample in there, it is essentially... Um, you know, the sound of the natural drums. I'm interested to hear the snare top soloed for a second. You know why? Because I want to see about yesterday's trick. Just, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the trick. I'm going to do it on the snare top. Don't need the alternate playlist. So what we're doing now is we're doing yesterday's trick. So I'm going to take the snare top. I am going to take the full snare track and audio suite it. So we'll just go to invert this. You remember yesterday's trick? Check out yesterday's video if you haven't already. So, but I'll talk about it again. So now what we're doing is we've inverted that snare so they should null out. No sound, because now it is completely 180 degrees. So every wave file that's going up is now going down opposite. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the compressor and we'll use the REQ because I like the attack and release time. Do, do, do. Sorry, the REQ, the R compressor, the Renaissance compressor. So I brought the attack to the fastest possible time here. really cool trick I'm deciding whether I want to do it or not because we are using 
drum samples. So if we're going to use the drum sample, do we need to do this? Do we not need to do it? Do I prefer it with or without it? You know, it's all choice. I feel like I'm not as worried. I'm not as worried about it on the snare top, believe it or not. I'm not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that and make it inactive. But I'm going to use it on the snare bottom. So on the snare bottom, we're now going to invert it on the snare bottom only. Because I love the sound of the snare bottom mic. Have a listen. Have a listen to the snare bottom now. There's just a lot of other going on in there. So now what we've done is we're going to invert that. So we're inverting the snare bottom. And now we'll put the two together. I like that. So I'm letting I'm letting the snare top be a little wrong, but I'm using it on the snare bottom just to gate that. So there you go. That was yesterday's compression trick. Thank you, everybody. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. There's 333 people here. Thank you ever so much. You all absolutely rock. So I like what we're going, we got going on with the drums, but I want to exaggerate it a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a drum bus. So but first of all, I'm going to create a kick bus. So here's a kick bus. We're going to go stereo. The reason why we're going stereo is because we are using some kick samples that have some ambience in them. People always ask me why I do that. There's the answer. I don't have to do it that way. Quite often... I'll have it separate from the live kick, but let's hear them all together. So we'll call that kick sub. I like it. There's a bit of bleed in there, but nothing I'm worried about. Remember, you can download these multi-tracks. They're down below. You can download the multi-tracks. So let's go and grab the, um, you know, let's grab the, I'm trying to which, which SSL I want. I'm going to grab the BX console one. So we've got a little bit of gain reduction there, about 3 dB. I like that. It's giving us a little bit more sustain. It's squashing it a little bit. Hey, Warren, I have a doubt. Um, it's probably If you want to do a super chat, that would be great. I know you're trying to get noticed by pinning it six times but uh does this affect the audio quality if you mix at a higher sample rate no i mean it won't make it better but it will stay the same but you'll bounce at 96k so if you're going through analog equipment that's where it gets but if you're staying in digital it won't make any difference but if you're going through analog at a higher rate then you'll appreciate it adding a little bite there you can see about six or seven k you can hear it's quite a difference What I like about these is they are always on when you turn it on. So I'm actually going to like run up to about just under 20 and give myself, I'm actually going to high pass it, believe it or not, because that's super, super low. You can just get muddy and in the way of everything. I 
And now I'm grabbing about 60 down here and boosting that. Oh, I like that. That's really tasty. Very SSL. That's really nice. Okay, let's go to about 350 and pull out some of that. Here's before, we'll look it up, look here and after. It says it's overloading, I don't hear it, I'm happy. It's nice. It's giving us a little bit of extra lows. It's not super EQ'd, it's not super compressed. It's just tucking it in nicely. Now let's do the same thing with the snare. So we're gonna take all of our elements that we're using on the snare and we're going to bust them together. And we can go to five and six. And here it is. So now we're bussing all our snares together. And what we can do just for a sake of our sanity is create this as one group. So take all of your elements like this and call it snare. Uh, uh, uh. We'll call it snare all, so you know what it is. And we'll name our group snare, bus, sub, group, whatever you want to call it. So all of these elements now are going to come out five and six. Going into five and six. It's five and six. Six. Six and snones. And let's let's go and grab another SSL one, but let's use somebody somebody's different one because you may not have the BX one. We do like the BX, but. Let's go and grab Waves SSL. And they have their SSL channel, so we'll grab that. And they actually have a G. So let's grab an SSL G channel. Here we go. So I've come to about 80. What I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to about 100, 150 and boost the lows. Feels like it just needs more body. I actually don't mind boosting a bit more. Wow, that 8K made a huge difference. Wow, as soon as you go Dynamics Channel Out, like you do on the SSL, it gives you that SSL speed. Bank. So if you do have the Waves SSLG channel, try that. Make sure you go channel out. So it's EQ into compression. And for those of you seeing a red light, don't worry about it. Still feels like it needs a bit more body, doesn't it? A bit more oomph. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to listen to the individual elements. Some... Hmm. I feel like the natural snare itself could have a little bit of extra body. So why don't we go? Um, why don't we go and grab? Um, Let's see what fun things we've got. 
We'll go to Shep 73 and do a little 110 here. <laughs> The only problem is there's a bit of that snare bleed. I'm sorry, a bit of that kick bleed in there. And I'm bringing up some of that, which I don't really want. So we'll go and put this on this last of the samples that we were using. That's really nice. Okay. All right. Now, let's throw all the drums together. See what we got. I'm trying for a more natural drum sound, as you can tell. I'm not going super, like, gated and kick and snare. I just want to see if I can get, get that. Now, these, if you've downloaded these multitracks, you'll notice I, we already kind of did a tom trick to them. Definitely doing a lot less than I would on some of the other mixes that you've done. There's a lot of these I've done live where you can go back and you can hear me doing some like really hardcore kind of mixing stuff and getting a lot more aggressive. Here I'm trying to do a little bit of a less is more and see if we can get a really great drum sound without really going nuts. So on the floor here, I'm just going to, you know, for instance, come in, you know, try to get it out of the way of the kick, but at the same time sort of boost you know, 80 to 100, we'll come in, we'll pull out some 350, see what you think of this. It's actually a nice sounding uh, floor, this is my Ludwig 16 inch floor tom. So I'm going to swap this out for an REQ4. So I'm going to go for, sorry, for an REQ6 because I want to get a little bit of bite out of the stick here. So let's get some bite out of the stick without bringing in a whole bunch of cymbal bleed. Oh, so much better. Now, just to cheat, I'm going to bring that EQ down on the rack, just copy it, just so we have it. Um, and then hear what it sounds like as a default on that. See, I'm EQing it in context, just trying to get it to feel nicer. I haven't used the Trans X yet. You have to tell me a little bit more about that. And if you do have any burning desire questions, please, uh, you can do a super chat and you can buy Eric some lunch. Now, in context, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to solo it because I'll just probably be put off the sound. But in context, it's good. Now, we'll do the same thing. We will create a stereo bus for the toms. 
So now we have a stereo bus for toms. Wow, three, four hundred people watching. Thank you ever so much. Please hit that like button. We're going to do a question now to win a free membership to the Academy. Um, if you're already a member of the Academy, um, we'll add on a year. And uh, if you're a lifetime member of the Academy, which many of you are, we'll give you any course that you want from ProMix Academy. So, um, so free year. If you're not a member yet, you get a membership. Um, if you're already a member and you're a yearly member or, or a monthly member, you'll get a free year tagged on. And of course, if you're a lifetime member, you can get any ProMix Academy course. And don't forget to enter to win the headphones as well. So 350 people, please hit the like button, first of all. That would be the wonderful first thing to do. And the next thing is I want to know is like, you can see I use the REQ a lot because to me, it's like my stock plugin. I think it just sounds better. The functionality is easier than using the stock Avid one. Not that I've got anything wrong with the Avid one. I just like the way this works. It incorporates a little bit of what people like about the fab filter that you can see things, but I also find it silly and easy to use, just really straightforward. So it's kind of my go-to It's not kind of, it is my go-to EQ that I use all the time. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, there are plenty of great ones. So please hit the like button and answer this question to win a free year of the Academy um, or a free Pro, uh, ProMix Academy course. And the question is, what EQ do you use? What is your number one go-to EQ? If you don't use a DAW and you use a console, tell me what console EQ you use. If you don't use console EQ and use external EQ, what do you use? Let us know what is your go-to EQ. So they still sound a little cardboardy to me. So I'm just going to exaggerate the same thing. So what EQ do you use? I want to know. Uh, 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 URL Tom. And there's no wrong answer. Just let us know what you can use. And then Eric at random, completely at random, will choose somebody. We have all kinds of winners from all over the place. There's definitely no favoritism here. All right. Although you might, if you put the name, if you put it in 55 times, you may not get chosen. <laughs> So I'm just going to do a general kind of boost, about 100-ish, and a little bit of a 350-ish cut. And we're going to listen not in solo for the time being, just so we can see how it feels. So it's kind of cool. What are you all using? Wow, that's it. Now we're going. And don't forget to hit the like button as well. That would be absolutely amazing. Okay, I like it. But what I'm not hearing is some ambience. So let's do this. Let's create another. It, they just feel a little too dry considering everything else. So we'll call this Tom Verb. Oops. Says the guy. Sorry about that. If only I could type Tom verb. Okay. And I'm going to send from the bus because of the EQ that I've done to it. And um, we'll make it 9 and 10. And then we are going to grab a multi-mono reverb. The reason why I do that is then when things are panned, they stay panned. I'm just going to use D-verb because it's free. Okay. I'm going to go down to... Let's go... Room two, three quarters of a second, and let's have a listen. Go into that section with lots of toms. <laughs> Little less, and I think we're there. Now, we can get more aggressive. We definitely can. I'll bring the overheads down ever so slightly, bring the hi-hat down ever so slightly. We can get more aggressive on things. But at the moment, I'm happy where we are. I'm going to add in this crash symbol. Pan it slightly to the left. 
There's also a splash cymbal, which is already stereo, which is panned slightly to the right. Bring those down a bit. There is an explosion that we had on this track. I don't know if we're going to use it or not yet. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of those drums that we've grouped. So I've got a kick sub, I've got a snare bus, I change the name each time, tom bus, re uh, tom reverb, and I'm going to output all of those to another bus, which is 11 and 12. Then I'm going to take the remaining elements, the symbols, and we'll bust those together just for the heck of it. Now we'll make those go to 11 and 12. They can go straight to that main bus. So now what we're doing is what we've done now is we've created a separate drum bus. And this overall drum bus, I will do some overall generic EQ and compression. And what I'm going to use, because we're trying to do the least amount of plugins possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Omni channel. Sheps is omnichannel. I really like this. This is becoming a favorite of many, many people. Of all of the named kind of, um, you know, uh, plugins out there that have, a, you know, an engineer or producer's name on it, I think this one might be my favorite. So I, I like the thump here. I might try it. Let's have a listen. The saturation is pretty cool. I might put just a tiny bit. Oh, that thump's great. I'm probably doing too much. We'll find out later, but at the moment I love it. What I love about Andrew's plugin is he defaults at 350 because he knows that's just an ugly frequency to pull out of drums. Very smart. I'm really digging this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that drum bus, you guessed it, and I'm going to duplicate it. So the drum bus now is being duplicated. We're going to call it drum bus, and we're going to call it drum bus squash. And I'm going to squash the schnizzle out of it. Now the hi-hat is going to get a little carried away with this, so I'm going to bring it down and the, and the overheads ever so slightly, because once I blend it back, it's going to be too much. Don't need to exaggerate it, because it's going to be in the other one. So now we have a really cool smashed parallel drum bus. Add some more saturation. And now, turn it all the way off, play the other drum bus, and blend it back in.
Great question. Uh, yeah, as far as channel strips are concerned, there's only really a couple I use. The reason why I use the SSO one occasionally, not that often, but the reason why I use it occasionally is because I own an SSO and I know how it sounds and I know where to reach for it. But the only drum bus I, uh, dr drum bus I use regularly is, is Andrew's one. Well, I'm sure Eric can put a link to it um, down below if there's not already one. Now, one of the things I do a lot of, um, and those of you in the Academy know this, if you're not in the Academy, join us, is pulling out um, something in the way of the kick. When you've got multiple kick mics or multiple kick samples, you get some really ugly build up between like 80 and 100. It just starts to get really massively built up there. And the problem with that is, is it kills your bass guitar. So what we're gonna do is we're going to come along here just on a, a regular REQ and select about 80, get a really tight Q and pull it down. And then I'm going to grab um, 110 and also tight Q, pull that down. So this is actually in the kick drum. So I'm sucking this out of the kick drum. Aha. Aha! Made a mistake. It's going to get better though. So what happened is like we um, we we pulled everything into the stereo bus rather than going through the groups. So now the kick go back through that. Much better. So what happened is like I had done an all group and I'd made a mistake. And it had bypassed the groups that I created. So now we're going to go back and rectify that. And now we should have a far more aggressive kick and snare. Much better. Let's do the same thing with the, it's getting really nice now. Okay. Yeah, I love that squash now. Yeah, baby. Wow. So, so basically, um, we still don't have that many plugins on the drums. I mean, I mean, you could argue one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. 12 plugins on the whole kit, including two drum buses. So it's pretty minimal. So when you download these multi tracks, you know. Um... Great. Okay, so I'm now going to. We threw in the bass. We tucked out, you know, it was really nice. We brought out that 80 to 110 out of the kick drum. We still got tons of thump. So now we have the bass. Um, I'm going to listen to just the DI on its own for a second.
Thank you, Sheila. Sheila says, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Very aggressive. Like, um, I don't remember if that was me playing. It probably was. Hitting the compression really hard on the way in. Same with the bass. I think it's me playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do the old EQ trick. So there's a couple of things, you see, because I was playing with a pick. I'm getting a pound, 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 pound. But there's tons of ways of solving that problem. But the first thing we'll do is grab just a good old-fashioned REQ2. We'll go to the EQ here. We'll use it in a low pass at about 250 and have a listen to just the DI. Actually went to 200. There's a bunch of like 30 and below that I don't want, don't need it. Thank you, Sheila. Yes, please hit the li like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Um, and yes, there'll be more competitions before the end of this session. If I want to get really super aggressive on this, the MV2 always carries the, carries the, uh, um, the flagship on this. It's, the MV2 is amazing. But I can just grab an L1, for instance, and just use it just on those transients. I mean, we're essentially sitting at minus 12 there. If we use the link function, you'll get no volume gain, but you'll get rid of those transients. It's what mastering engineers called fishtails. So now our DI is just all low end. Let's go grab our mic and do the opposite. So what you could do is you could just pull this EQ down so it's handily there and just go here like so. So what I've done now is I've brought the um, EQ up so I'm actually getting rid of the low end in that area. Look what I did. I accidentally pulled that one over. Serves me right. Okay. Now I'm also going to bring down the L1. just to get rid of those fishtails. Now I hear the two things together. So there's two things I'm lacking. I'm lacking like super, super lows. And I'm also lacking some aggression. So I'm going to take the bass mic, believe it or not, and screw with it. Oh, did I just say that? I did, didn't I? I'm going to mess with it. So I'm going to grab the harmonic. So just the sans amp. Okay, now let's just take all of those elements and bust them to one. So we just created a mono auxiliary, a mono auxiliary, a mono bus, a mono sub, and we'll call it bass 
sub. And we can do a couple of things. First of all, before I boost any low end on a bass sound, I always make sure I'm controlling going into the boost. So I suppose we'll go for an REQ2. We will just high pass it out of the way of the kick. So we're about a 50 or 60 gentle slope. But then I'm immediately going to put an R bass on it. This is another plugin that I love and use all the time. It's not pretty on its own, but I don't care what it sounds like on its own. What does it sound like in with the drums? David says, what other paces? Yeah, I think any kind of lo-fi, distortion, whatever you want to do. We have a super chat. Everything is sounding thick, like the girl that, uh, that, that, the girl that far, that far away. I'm not sure what you mean, like the girl that got away. But thank you, I appreciate it. And you just, uh, you, you paid towards Eric's sandwich today. He's gonna be happy. Yeah, our bass is just great. It's a dumb version of Max bass. I'm bringing down those overheads, even though we've only got these elements in there. I just don't need them as much. Yeah, any distortion. I just use Sansam because it's been around forever, but any distortion would work. As you can tell, there's not a lot of the low lows, uh, sorry, the high mids going on there that I'm looking for. Now we're talking. I'm going nuts on that. Just because the bass sound itself just didn't have those high mids and that cut and that articulation. So in solo, that probably sounds horrific, but who cares what it sounds like in solo? Now, uh, our other old favorite is, frankly, the MV2. Um, I still think it's, along with the R bass, the, I, I say to everybody, give me any plug-in manufacturer, anybody in the world, but allow me to have R bass and MV2, and I will make the same mix. I don't care which plug-in manufacturer it is. There's something about those two plugins which is just phenomenal. I don't think I need any more expansion on it. Have a listen to it. It's like, it's insane. Now people listen to it and start go, oh, I don't like the sound of that bass, but listen to it in context of the drums. Great. Okay, so it's coming on really well. So a couple of, I think what I want to do now is just throw in some of these guitars, which we did a little bit of work to, because we just used.
I love the way the snare's coming out. A lot of it has to do because we did uh, Ma Manny's trick on the bottom snare, the Manny Nieto trick, and it's just really that pff, pff, It just adds a great to it. Um, so don't forget, um, and Eric will put up a link. There is a... We're doing a we're doing a ninety nine dollar year membership to the academy at the moment, and you can win one now as well. Eric will put that up. You can also download the multi tracks. Does R base add harmonic content like the BB Sonic Maximizer would? It sounds like it's doing the same thing. You are VJ. You are one hundred percent correct. You are correct. Yes, VJ. VJ, are you a cricket fan? God, I could woke up this morning and I, I I saw the beginning of the test, the second day. Um, England bowled out for 202, quite disappointing, but I haven't followed it since then. I know the West Indies are in. What's the score? Don't scare me. If it's horrible, I probably don't want to know. <laughs> I should be wearing my cap. You can see, those of you that are cricket fans, you can see the cricket ball in the background over there. Um, and those of you that um, have noticed over the years, thank you. So, yeah, we have a membership of only $99 at the moment. We have 411 people looking, uh, watching, sorry, 12. Can you hit the like button, please? And now you can win. So what I'd like you to do, first of all, is hit like. Um, and uh, I, I think it's a good question because you brought it up. Thank you. It's what kind of plugin do you use um, for saturation? What's your distortion saturation lo-fi plugin? Let us know. I would love to know what it is. Let us know what is your distortion, saturation, lo-fi plugin of choice. Cricket! Um, we want to know. It can be a stock one from your DAW. It can be an aftermarket one. What is the one that you love to use? We would love to know. Yes, I do love uh, some Bowie. You did notice those strings. Nicely spotted. Okay, I'm happy where we're going. Um, I like the explosive nature of the drums. We could go more 70s, talking of Bowie. Um, but I think I like this kind of a little 80s gated, meets a bit of a slosh. You know, we could tighten it up if we wanted. But at the moment, I'm happy where it's at. <laughs> So I love Sooth 2. It's one of the best plugins for vocals ever. The Arvox is great. Add some body and low mid back. Um, but now I want to add just, I don't know. I don't know if we need to go crazy. We could do any EQ on this. Um, we could do the Abbey Road stuff. We could do, hmm. 
I think probably Marg. Do we do we get the Marg sorted out? Do we have the? We have to check. I don't know if we have. Oh, looks like we do. We're leasing it from Plugin Alliance. Wow, that two five is whoo. I mean, oh, sorry, six fifty is great. The two five is insane. like the Marg EQ. Um, I do, but I think I'm looking at more like some of the mids I want to boost the high mids are in a different area to the to where they've defaulted. Don't get me wrong, the Marg is amazing. Um, I'm happy to use something a little bit more generic like this. There you go. I mean, I feel like I can boost that now without there being any issues. Get some fries with that, Eric. You can have fries with your sandwich. <laughs> Eric's going to have to run down to pick it up. So he's going <laughs> to... Okay, so I like where we're at. It might be a little bit aggressive, uh, aggressive in some of the S's and T's. Um, but um, it's... Do, 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 is rather wonderful. Um, wow, 300, 400 people watching, 338 likes. Please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're going to do another giveaway before we wrap up today. This has been a really fun time. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is just grab... Do, do, do. Grab another... Uh, what should we do? We should go... Actually, it looks like 13, 14 is already being used because 13, so we'll go 15, 16. We don't want to double up things being sent to places. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is just create a reverb. So I'll do something. I'll do something like a short reverb. Um, 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 uh, what should we do? I mean, we could just use the D verb. I just, we don't have to go nuts with some of these crazy crazy reverbs it's like sometimes what's the z verb i don't remember what that is oh oh what's this the yuhi night falls like oh where's this been my whole life night falls like a soldier can't sleep thoughts are bleeding lost my heart beat left my love with the sun Left me feeling so numb I can't move, can't change a thing I bend, I break, just know you played a part You know who you are uh, I'm gonna need someone To fix my half a heart And stitch me up inside Before I rip apart Oh, I know where I'd be If I had you from the start I really need someone All that Will I make it with half a heart? How can I live with half a I 
want to try something nutty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, I'm actually going to put a gate afterwards. So, because I like this reverb a lot, and I want to try something silly. So let's just put the C1 gate and key it from the lead vocal on 15. Night falls like a soldier, can't sleep, thoughts are bleeding, lost my heartbeat, left my love with the sun, left me feeling so numb, I can't move, can't change a thing, I bend, I break, just know you played a part, you know who you are, oh. I'm gonna need someone to fix my half a heart and stitch me up inside before I rip apart. How oh, I knew where I'd be if I had you from the start. I really need someone. All that is left was half. We're having some fun here because the drum sound we got has got this kind of gating going on. Oh, and by the way, the $10, that's uh, from High, High Res or H Res. Thank you ever so much. Or H R Z or R Z. Thank you very much. That will definitely go towards lunchtime sandwiches. I just like that on off sound on the vocal there. It just sounds so wrong in a right way. I can't move, can't change a thing. I bend, I break, just know you played up. You know who you are. Oh, I'm gonna need someone to fix my half a heart and stitch me up inside before I rip apart. Oh, I wonder where I'd be if I had you from the start. I really need someone. All that Fantastic. All right, you know where I'm going to go to next because we asked, um, we talked about plugins. Just keep talking about plugins, reverbs. I just discovered the Z verb, which I, or the Z verb, I've never used that before, and it's you, he. Uh, it was left on by an artist. Um, so it must be on my eye lock or something like that, but rather wonderful. Um, uh, do, 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 do. I think, I think. I want to know what reverb you like. What reverb plugin do you like? We have 412 people watching. Thank you ever so much. That's incredible. Please hit that like button, all 412 of you. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And remember, two things. You're going to win a free membership of the Academy now. All you have to do is tell me what reverb you like. And Eric will pick somebody at, at random. Eric will pick somebody. And you know what? It's a free lifetime membership to the Academy. What? Say it ain't so. Yes, free lifetime membership to the Academy. Lifetime membership of the Academy. Please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed. Already subscribed. Just tell us, what reverb do you like? I can't move, can't change a thing. I bend, I break, just know you play. You know who you are. Uh, I'm gonna need someone to fix my half a heart.
So as far as this guitar is concerned, it's pretty dull. It's like... Like, I like it. Uh, the body on it is nice, but do I love the body? Not really. Um, hmm. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of on the fence about what to do with it. First thing I think we could do is just get rid of some of the low, low end. just to take mids and up doesn't have to be as loud now Thank you. Thank you ever so much, Sunflower Shift Assistant. Shift Assistant. That's a rather interesting name. Thank you. I use dynamic EQs only to fix issues. Um, if I don't hear anything really to fix, I mean, vocals are obviously a big, big deal. That's where the soothe always wins. I just like listening to that part. enjoying this i'm enjoying where we got to thank you everyone for all of your incredible help i do watch um, some comments and if there's anything i agree with i kind of put it in so it's really good uh, 395 people and 395 people liking if you haven't hit the like button please already like who won who cj spectrum wow congratulations cj spectrum what did cj spectrum like <laughs> Ah, uh, one day, one day. CJ, what did you like? What was your favorite reverb? There's going to be a 30 second delay now while we find out. <whistles> and it looks like we have made enough money to buy Eric and myself a sandwich. Thank you. We get lunch. Thank you very much. This is rather wonderful. Wow. I'm really, thank you. We get lunch. Well, this has been a lot of fun. We'll come back to this and do some final elements to it uh, probably next week. Um, and Academy members, um, obviously don't forget everybody here. Please download the multitracks if you haven't already. Please hit that like button. Uh, what was CJ's favorite one? Uh, Lexicon 480. Oh, wow. Lexicon 480. Very nice indeed. Um, so come back next week. Come back and see us. If you haven't already joined the Academy, join it. It's only 99 bucks for the year. And you get lots of this, lots of... We had a conversation yesterday from my house. And we just talked business and all kinds of fun stuff and introduced new people. So come and join us. Um, tomorrow, we're going to do... A, um, we're going to listen to mixes tomorrow live on YouTube. Yes, live on YouTube. We're going to listen and do mix critiques live on YouTube. So tune in for that. If you haven't already joined the uh, community, please join it. Um, download the multitracks, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, all of that good stuff. Thank you ever so much. You all rock. We're going to eat a sandwich because of you. Thank you very much. Have a marvelous time recording music, mixing. Adios. Uh, Alvida Zen. Au revoir.
See you all again very soon. Farewell.